Joe with a good one coming at you. It's the Washington Nationals and the Arizona Diamondbacks. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go on the hill here today, Zach Gallen. Well, this guy has a ton of respect from his own teammates and the guys that are playing behind him just seem to take it to another level. You know, he's the type of guy, he's not having a good day to try to save that bullpen for the game and the next game. He'll go out there and wear it. So in this one, if he can keep his pitch count down early, he has the ability to work deep into this ball game. The 1-0. Foul ball. Going to count one and two. Pitchers and catchers have a unique bond in general, but Gallon and Carson Kelly actually lived together for a while when they played at AAA. Technically, it was Kelly's apartment, and Gallon slept on an air mattress. Got to do what you got to do coming through the minor leagues, but that can definitely help to strengthen that bond, be on the same page when you get into the ball game. Dom Smith stands in. First pitch, and he just misses. No score just getting started top of the first. Late that time and it's strike right. two. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. The wind and the pitch. And now the count is even. Swings through that. Good fastball going early until they show they can make some good contact. You keep on throwing the pitch. In the air, out towards right center. Tracks it down for the out. And that ends the inning. And the Nationals gone in order. And now Arizona gets its first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in Nationals Park. And our pitcher in this game, Patrick Corbin. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Bottom of the first, this is Corbin Carroll. The pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. Steps on first for the out. Batting set, the second baseman, Cattell Marte. Cattell Marte up to the plate. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Dickerson fires it in quickly, and now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. He was all over that one. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter, so no surprise he put a great swing on it. And it's second with one away. Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. This guy with big-time power and an elite defender. That to right, Thomas under it. And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And now it's Christian Walker. Come on, 
That one is absolutely belted. And it bangs off the wall. Here comes the throw. He pulls into second. A run comes in on the play. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. So, runner at second, two down. Evan Longoria getting ready to hit. Hammer, base hit, and that's going to roll to the wall. The run comes in from second, and they take a two-run lead. Comes through with the RBI. 110 miles per hour, and man, that exit velocity. Not every hitter's capable of getting that kind of jump off the bat, no matter how hard they swing. Two outs, runner at first. And now the DH, Lourdes Goriel Jr., Bounce to the left side. They take the force out. That ends the inning. They get two runs on three hits. No errors and one left. Second inning coming up from our nation's capital. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Nationals nothing. Top of the second. Here's Dickerson down. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next offering is in for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Here's the 0-2. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now batting Jamer Candelario. And there's a foul ball. Next pitch has popped up. And there's two down. Batting six. The second baseman. Luis. And now it's Luis Garcia. Garcia. Pitch misses. And that is ball one. Right side, and it goes just foul. Ball to strike. And a foul ball. The one two. And that just misses. Got him swinging. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back in Washington, D.C., this is Kyle Lewis. The center fielder. Corbin, back to work. Line drive, base hit, right center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Nick Ahmed here to hit. Big time power. Left field, way back there. Dickerson going back, back some more, back some more. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Batting ninth, the catcher, Gabriel 
So digging in, Gabriel Moreno. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. And he pumps it a strike. Corbin, multi-time all-star, he features a sinker, a slider, a four-seamer, a changeup, and he occasionally uses a curve. Line drive, caught! Here's the left fielder, Corbin Carroll, grounded out his first time. That one the other way. Dickerson makes the catch inning over. One left. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Now here is Hebert Ruiz. He swings and fouls one off. Ruiz, 24 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Line drive. McCarthy makes the catch, and there's one gone. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500-plus home runs, 3,000-plus hits, and a triple crown. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. And a foul ball. Slow ground ball to the right side. Walker. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. That's to third. Longoria to first. That ends the frame. Three up, three down for Washington. And they're down 2 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, Lead set for the bottom of the third. Back. Now it's the second baseman, Cattell Marte. Marte. The pitch. Strike one. Corbin, a former All-Star, 33 years old. And he was a second-round pick back in 2009. Smash to the left side. Not in time. He's safe. He's safe. Tough play on a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out. But it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip. And close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. And now the right fielder, Jake McCarthy. He's over one. Fall off foul. McCarthy. Measures six feet, two inches, 215 pounds, a former first round pick back in 2018. Liner snagged it first. Dives for the bag, got him. Double play. Now back, first baseman. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. You know, Christian Walker, a guy who had a really successful amateur career, his college ball with the South Carolina Gamecocks, they won the College World Series twice with Dickerson. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. Here's Lane Thomas. Lane Thomas. The pitch. Huh. And that's in for a strike. Well, we call that key holy. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. The baseball's coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Kicks and fires. Got him swinging for the strikeout. 
the high heat too much on that one. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. But why to kick the pitch? There's a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. 1 1 now. Swings through that one out in front that time. The Nets hitless so far in the game. That's inside. Ball two. Goes down looking. Passed with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. The 2 Swing and a miss, and he got him. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. here in Nationals Park. To go. Now it's Evan Longoria's back, turn. The third baseman. Evan. I'm always interested in guys Longoria. like Evan Longoria. He didn't have any scholarship offers out of high school, wasn't drafted out of high school. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And just a single as they hustle the ball back to the infield. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Here's Guriel. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. To the warning track, makes the catch. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Kyle Lewis digs in now. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Hits the fence. Lead runner holds it third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That was exactly what you're looking to do with the pitch away, especially in that situation. Drive it into the opposite field gap. He got himself two bags on a great swing of the bat. Now here is laced into left. That's a base hit. One run across. Another comes in to score, and it's 4 nothing. And into second with one away, that's a double. Two consecutive base hits for these here. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. High fly ball, right field. Snags it for the second out. Back to the top of the lineup. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Corbin Carroll. Going one. Ahmed stands at second with two gone.
Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Ahmed around third. He will score. It's 5 nothing. Everything came together for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Here's Cattell Marte. Here comes a pitch. Hit hard, base hit. Couple of hits in a row for him here. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. It appears Dave Martinez is ready to dive into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Patrick Corbin won't go any further, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Mason Thompson gets handed the rock now, out of the pen. I think it's got to be a little tough coming Number in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Thompson. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Next to hit, Jake McCarthy. And first offering is fouled off. First and second, two down. Lined, and that's a base hit. Robles quickly throws it in. Stop sign goes up at third, and the bases are loaded. That's three singles in a row. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, Good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it. Just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. At the play, Christian Walker. That's a base hit, run scores. Two runs are in. The throw is wild and it gets away. And back to first safely he goes. As two runs score in the play. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. And now Evan Longoria on the ground to third. Out number three. All in all, 10 come to the plate. They bat around at five score. We played four. It's the Diamondbacks seven and the Nationals nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Corey Dickerson. The left fielder, number 23, Corey Dickerson. Gallant back to work. Swing and a miss, strike one. You know, these Nationals just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt, but it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. And here it comes. That's down and in. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. the string with the changeup struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. The third base and now up for Washington, Jamer Candelario. Swings and misses. And it's 0-1. Next offering is foul back. The Nationals yet to pick up a hit here. Popped up to the left into foul ground and a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. 
Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Next pitch has popped up. Longoria grabs it on the run. Nationals go quietly. Not going their way. It's 7 nothing. We head to the bottom of the Lead fifth. Up. Now well it's the back. DH, Lourdes no, Goriel Jr. Lourdes. Yeah. And the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Dickerson under it, brings it in. And there's one away. The center fielder, number one, Kyle. Digging in, Ooh. Kyle Lewis. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. Next to hit, Nick Ahmed. Line drive, base hit down the line. Lewis coming home. He'll score easily, and it's an eight-run lead. Now the D-backs catcher, Gabriel Moreno. On the ground, and that's just foul. At the belt and fires. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. Throw into third. And he's out easily. And now Corbin Carroll, one for three. Line drive, that's a base hit out of the left center field. Moreno makes the turn at second. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. On the ground at first. And that one handled. The throw to first. They get the out on Marte. Play made. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Righty delivers. And he hits a ground ball right side and foul ball. And a pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Righty to the plate. Moreno makes the grab. One down. Well, oh, that's a frustrating into the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. In the air, left field down the line. Carroll pulls it in on the run. So it's their last chance in this one. Here's the center fielder, Victor Robles. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Check swing, no appeal. Next offering is foul back. The Nats still looking for their first hit in this one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Now the throw to first on the run. Throw to first, ball game. And the Diamondbacks take this one in a blowout.
Well, a big win by eight runs, and when you have that kind of lead, you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead. So nice job today all the way around to get the W. Eight nothing is how this one ends for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shambi saying so long.